Okay, we got a no cooling call. The lady had somebody come out here and they said it needed a motherboard, whatever that is, that sounds like a computer to me, and a blower motor. But that he could make it run one more In time. 900 feet, turn left. And for them to arrive to destination. For them to let the house get as cool as they could stand it. Because after it cut off that one last time, it wasn't going to start back. I ain't never heard of nothing like that. But the only thing I can imagine, maybe the fan motor's worn out spin it by hand it'll start up I mean I you know I just couldn't tell you I ain't, I've never told anybody anything like that or done that or maybe it needs a capacitor and he didn't have any or you know I don't know what's going on with that but she wanted a second opinion and I said I did not blame her one bit I'd come out here and give her a second opinion so we're gonna take a look at it and see if we can diagnose what's going on with this furnace it's supposed to be a gas furnace so let's take a look at it and see what we can do. All right, train, 80% furnace. I turned it on and I hear it wanting to start. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay, she's got a nest. So it doesn't boot right back up. So I am... Uh, Check this capacitor here. This may be a very simple problem. I know you recognize that. That's those oldie but goodies GE capacitor. I wish we could still buy those. Things probably well over 10 years old. And let's see if it's. <laughs> Look at that. And this guy told her that it needed a board and a motor. Now, while the motor has certainly been strained from trying to run uh, with a weak capacitor or bad capacitor, actually, I can understand that uh, replacing that is probably a good idea. I have seen them run a day or two and I've seen them run for years after you replace them. Uh, these cheap ones we have now, I really don't like them. Somebody's already put a board on this furnace. This came with what I called a module. You know, a, a board with a cover on it's all it was. Somebody's already put, this is updated, this is the newer board that we have. So I'm not sure I see the problem with the board at this point. I mean, it's possibly on the heat side. Door switch has been jumped. That's about the only thing I see going on here so far. So we're going to go get a capacitor and see if we can put these people back in business. All right. Well, I'm not crazy about them. They say that on the bottom. But, better than not working. I'll tell you what, I've, in the old days, I didn't really worry about it, but I've gotten in the habit of checking a new one before I put it in, too. And, uh, yeah, 9.58. So, that's in range. So let's put this thing in there. And let's see what happens here. I am betting that this will start the motor every time while we're here. And then I'll tell you, just like I'm going to tell the customer, 
it might run a week. No, I'm gonna tell them it might run an hour, it might run a week, and it might run three years. I just can't tell. But I do believe boy. I don't know if that's not as fat as the other one. It's locked into I don't like that. Now I'd hate to be the run cap bandit and stuff something in there. I guess I could stuff a piece of rubber. That's going to rattle. That's what that's going to do. So. Let's. Uh, let's see what this does. Let's see if it starts. Two or three times in a row. Let's see if this guy was just. Blowing smoke. Trying to take this lady's money. I did see a blink here. I did hear and see a blink on the motor or on the board. I heard it click. I cannot be 100% sure it doesn't need a board, but I don't think so. Let's try it again. all these wires that would stop or maybe if I just unhook the, the wire I'm not sure if that's some thermostat related or what the continuous fan has a different uh, circuit usually on most boards but So I think what I'll do is I'll pull this yellow call loose. So now there's no way we can be getting a yellow call. And I'm going to hook my red up there. Put the power back on. I'm going to try the green and see if it jumps. And it does not. It works as per normal. And I'm going to try the white and see if we get heat. There's the induced draft. And there comes the hot surface ignition. That gum circus clown out here trying to take this lady's money. I could understand giving her the same disclaimer type warning that I will that this motor could go at any time and if you absolutely want to be a hundred percent dead sure that it's new not that it won't go because a new part can go too but if you want to be dead sure that it's new and replaced i'd be glad to replace it now but it might run 
an hour or a week or a year or three years. I'm telling you now, that's all that was wrong. So let's go see if we can get a smile out of that customer. for a while. Okay, that was an unfortunate situation. And uh, anytime you get called in behind somebody else, there's always the chance that uh, you end up telling on somebody for something. And there was a couple of things about that job that, uh, you know, I had no idea what we was going into and what they had said. I just was given a second opinion and you saw what I did and that's all I could find wrong. I did explain that there is the risk of the motor possibly being compromised, but that I started it four or five times and we watched it run 20 minutes before I left, maybe 25. Uh, it was pulling the temperature down pretty quick we saw it drop three degrees. Of course, that's it's going to drop the first few really quick because it was so terrible hot up there. Um, so they're going to go out to dinner and be gone for a couple of hours, and they're going to come home and be able to go upstairs finally. They actually had air mattresses in the floor downstairs, um, all over a seven-dollar capacitor. So price the other dealer had given them to fix the system was outrageous. Then they asked me to look at the other system on the bottom floor that he had installed last year and unfortunately that was not exactly how it was supposed to be either. So nonetheless I, I do believe we've earned a customer now. I really hope that motor doesn't fail. I, I, I did tell them, and I know it's at risk. But if it runs a week or two, I think it'll probably be all right. Um, it wasn't left alone. She's at home all the time, and she noticed it not working and turned it off immediately. And let's just hope that, uh, let's just hope it hadn't cooked it enough. But I kind of smelled it a little when I opened the cabinet of the furnace. And that was with it running. You know, it had been running guy spun it with his hand and it's just strange that he didn't have a seven dollar capacitor or whatever those cost but anyway you saw what I saw and we earned another customer but I'd rather not have to do it that way so we got one more to go to and I'm hoping that that's going to be an early night it is 628 right now so let's hit this other stop and ourselves some dinner. Thanks for watching.